golly golly, I think I better clean up my act or you folks are gonna get a new DJ. Anyone seen the new brass up at Bin Sud Camp? Seems to have uh, forgotten his uniform. Ooh, zoom golly golly, I think I better clean up my act or you folks are gonna get a new DJ. Hey, did you hear the one about the Marine who started to leave that big battle up north? His lieutenant says, where the heck are you going? We're outnumbered four to one. And the Marine said, but sir, I already got my four. Ever get into a combat situation where there wasn't enough to go around? Roaring out in response to a VC ambush of the 2nd Cab at a bridge over the Songcat River, the squad leader did a quick tally of the gear on the APC. Hearing heavy firing up ahead, he calls out, Anyone here know how to pray? One man piped up, Yes, Sarge, I know how to pray. Good, says his squad leader. You pray while the rest of us put on our flak vests. We're one vest short. All you Corvette fans, you can forget about getting those nifty knockoff wheels. The new Corvettes will, by federal law, have bolt-on wheels. But don't worry, the new vet will still go real fast. You grunts from Milwaukee better get your arms inked right here next time you're in Saigon. Your town fathers have banned tattoo parlors. This next one goes out to the chopper pilots of Operation Junction. Way to go! The VC never even saw you coming. Someone sent me the recently published guide to conscientious objection. Uh, a little late, don't you think? This next one's for all you short timers out there. You're almost home, guys. Keep your heads low and your butts even lower. Just got the enemy casualties list. 83,000 for 1967 so far. Come on, guys. We can try harder, huh? Let's push that figure over the top. Don't you love those pep talks you get just before combat? I heard this one company commander give a talk to get the troops up for the assault the next day. Out there, said the captain, gesturing to the jungle, is your enemy. The man who has been trying to kill you day after day. The man who sets traps to destroy you. And the man who wants to make your life miserable. All of a sudden, one newbie jumped to his feet and shouted, Oh my god, captain! Don't tell us the first surge is working for the other side now! Hats and helmets off to the 173rd Airborne. Their Operation Condor just nailed a ton of enemy weapons and ammo. Fewer bullets coming at us. Are those guys good or what? There's a new album out in the States. Surrealistic Pillow from Jefferson Airplane. Don't know about you, but I've slept on a surrealistic pillow many nights. Oh, look at this. The new gangster flick Bonnie and Clyde just opened stateside. Don't think it'll come here. It's way too violent for us. Hey, hey, how's everybody doing at that spanking new base camp at Ben Sut? Get all the amenities right. Even a few left over what used to be Charlie's, I hear. I gotta know, I just gotta know. When's the housewarming? Hey, I wanna send a big Vietnam hello to all the new kids who've joined the party. And uh, don't worry, your CO's have saved a lot of fun for you. And a reminder to the grunts up at Ben Sut that Valiant River may not look like much, but it's all you got for now. Dan Hut! To all those new jarheads heading out to Shang Tree Village, remember, it's the hearts and minds we want to win, not some other body part. Here's one for those troops heading out to Shang Tree, a little tune to keep in mind while you remove those annoying mortars. I mean, really, do we need mortars firing at us? All you guys yammering about King Kong out there, remember that there is no such person. No way. But our CEO would love any information you get about his whereabouts. Here's a little known fact. There are a hundred different snakes in South Vietnam. Ninety-nine of them are poisonous. Yeah, but the other one just eats you whole. You know, some of the new grunts never even make it over here. Oh, yeah. This guy Bubba Moon got drafted reported to the 1st Battalion, 50th Infantry at Fort Benning. So on the first day, as an enlisted man, he was given a comb. And then the following day, the Army barber sheared off all his hair. And on the third day, the Army gave him a toothbrush. And then the next day, the Army dentist yanked several of his teeth out. On the fifth day, he was given a jock strap. That afternoon, Bubba disappeared for good. The Army is still looking. For all you unlucky grunts who missed it, the Green Bay Packers creamed the Kansas City Chiefs to win the first Super Bowl 35 to 10. Was there ever any doubt? And uh, if you lost any money on this blowout, don't blame me. I voted for Barry.
Mary Goldwater. You know, if life and country is getting you down, you can get a 30-day leave. Sure, no problem. All you gotta do is sign up for another six months tour. Easy, as they say. Newsflash here. If you'd rather not have athlete's foot, better wash those doggies daily. And maybe a splash of fungicide. And uh, if you wear your socks uh, inside out, you can use them for another four days. Might be a little tricky for those of you swapping bullets with Charlie, but hey. Anyone catch the screening of the Dirty Dozen yet? Get this. Lee Marvin plays a major recruited to lead a top-secret World War II mission with 12 nasty hardcore criminals out to kill as many Nazi officers as possible. Maybe that's what we need, you know? Some Mafia types to sock into Uncle Ho in Hanoi. All you drivers better check the latest from the commander. He says anyone falling asleep at the wheel will get busted. That is if you don't drive into a tree first. You know, we like to give you the news you can use. Oh, Command would like to remind all you guys in the field that possession of marijuana is taxable at a hundred bucks an ounce. I'll stick to the Budweiser, thanks. Yeah, roll out that old red carpet. That means no sticking scorpions in his bunk, man. This one's dedicated to the grunts just back from the Shang Tree cleanup, and the ones that didn't make it. Way to go, freeing that journalist from the VC. I was talking to a Marine, really ready to go back home, you know what I mean? I said, what's the first thing you're gonna do? He said, I'm gonna go throw one into the wife. And the second thing? He said, then I'll put down my seat back. Great googly moogly just got word here at the station that we have another 20,000 newbies joining us. Make sure you give them the old-fashioned Vietnam welcome. That means don't rip off all their money. Well, there's some big stuff going down north and west of Saigon. I can't say any more, guys, but uh, let's just say be glad you're not the enemy. I hear that rabies is way, way up among the troops. You guys do know to stay away from stray animals. That might apply to humans, too. Rough. Any of you heading out to the old French fort today, do be careful with that C4. That's tax dollars at work, not fireworks for your entertainment. Heads up to everyone at Bin Sut Base Camp. Uh, let's make sure that we uh, make your visitor from the press feel real welcome. Got a newsflash, boys and girls. Tell that glassy-eyed baboon grunt, that low-brow half-scholar who said I don't give a damn what happened at the Ford, you tell him to say it to my face, and he'll see how much I care. Enough said. Got a request from one short-timer to one of his buds that wasn't so lucky. This goes out to Duru and the crew of Chopper R-78. This next one's dedicated to all those who said the King Kong was real. Surprise, surprise, he is real! Now all you guys gotta do... Let's find him. Piece of cake. Hey, anyone sees that scary guy in Bin Sut walking around with sunglasses? Tell him it's raining and there's no sun in the forecast for a long time. You heard about these two soldiers who met on R&R &R down under? The first guy said that his unit was the best damn platoon in the whole war. Other grunt says he wished he could say the same. First guy says, well, you could if you lied as well as I do. Anybody see In Like Flint yet? Take a look at those better than Bond babes. You guys will know what you are fighting for. At least she gets a lifetime supply of popsicles to practice with, if and you know what I mean. Anyone want to buy a beat-up Chevelle? I just got a letter that my girlfriend had a little run-in with an ice cream truck. Rumor has it we're going to have some elections here soon. I'm thinking of running. Not for an office, but away. Far away. Some of you may have heard that up at Camp Bin Sut they need a new barber. A big thank you to the grunt who made that happen. The CO will be taking applications all this week, guys. Our allies, the Montagnards, are getting hit real heavy in the Central Highlands. If I know the Montes, they'll hang in there. And then some. Here's one for the heavy team heading out to rescue them from the VC. We're behind you all the way, guys. Way behind. Oh, yeah. What's with all the secrecy about the stuff going on down north? If any of you Special Forces types want to be interviewed, you know where to come. Now, back to the music. <laughs> you gotta love chopper pilots, right? And how do you know if there's a chopper pilot at your next party in Saigon? 
Not to worry, he'll tell you and everyone there. Hear this? Ronald McDonald, a clown, is now the hamburger company's official spokesperson and, whoa, ambassador to children. How long you think you'll last? Kind of puts me off. Hamburgers. Some good news coming in from Warzone C. The brass tell us that it will soon be completely VC free. Now, they can just get rid of the scorpions. Hey, did anybody bet on what would win best picture? If you bet on the Russians are coming, the Russians are coming. And man, did I love that flick. Pay up. A man for all seasons one. I missed that one. And I bet you did too. Just a word to the crew heading out to what the boys call Artillery Hill. Get all your butts back here in one piece, and I do mean all. Some grunts want to know what it was like being captured by the VC. Ever stay after school? Well, it's just like that, if your school was in hell. Seriously, big thanks to those guys who risked their lives to get our boys back. The command has asked that all the talk about the enemy reading minds be stopped, but they didn't say you couldn't go on thinking it. A lot of the base camps have dogs, but listen to this. A grunt came up to an airborne grunt in LZ Uplift one day. And the airborne trooper sat playing cards with his dog. Really? The other grunt watched for a while, amazed that this mutt was actually playing cards. To be honest, he was also a little surprised by the fact that an airborne trooper was smart enough to play cards. But he said to him, hey, that's a pretty smart dog you have. The airborne trooper looked up and said, oh, I don't know. I beat him three out of five hands. I wonder what were the stakes. Here's some amazing news. Hang on to your helmets. Arkansas has just named Quartz the official state rock. If that isn't a reason to party, I don't know what is. Our good neighbors in Thailand are sending us some help. 2,200 troops are on their way. Be sure and welcome them to the party. If your execs look a little tense these days, could be because Secretary of Defense McNamara is attending some gigundo meetings at Tanson Hut Air Base. Tough news from the base camp of the 1st Battalion and 2nd Infantry. VC slammed it with more than 150 mortar rounds. My guess is the LT is already planning some appropriate kick-ass payback. Anyone seen Colonel Salter of it been Sut lately? Tell him that we do miss him. Real. Now, another hit you just gotta hear. For everyone asking about Gunner and his crew, we'll get the info out just as soon as we got it. Everybody hang loose till then. If any heavy squads are moving out for their support mission, I bet they're really heading to support the local bar at China Beach. Take me with you, will you? Everyone see that new nurse that arrived at the Bin Sud base camp? Ooh, hoo hoo, huh? Ba boom. She was told that although her quarters would be in a separate building, she was to mess with the men. Whoops, four weeks later she learned that meant that she had to eat her meals with them. A fun four weeks, guys, huh? If you love Lucy, you may be out of luck. She says this is the last season of her show. Any short-timers getting ready to head home, here's a few words of advice. Remember that the girls you meet in New York or Chicago or Detroit are not in Vietnam. They actually have real jobs, like stenographers or teachers, so please, don't approach them with a suave boom boom how much. Just heard that a bunch of the commie bosses up north in Hanoi have been arrested. You think they're getting worried about how their war is going? Everyone hear about the problem Charlie is having with his fuel supply? Well, we can thank our own special forces right here for that little treat. The next song... Ah, uh, hell, the whole day goes out to camp in such specialist of the specials, Ramirez, a.k.a. Gunner. He may be gone, but not a one of his buds will forget him. Just got this from Captain Howell at Bin Sut. He'd like the camp to know he did not, repeat, did not bat cleanup for the 1963 Pittsburgh Pirates. You know the difference between God and a chopper pilot? Easy, God doesn't think he's a chopper pilot. Hey, make sure you catch the new flick just over from the States, The Graduate. It's about something called a college student. Oh, we love those kids over here, don't we? It does have one good line. Mrs. Robinson, are you trying to seduce me? Anyone here know what seduce me? 
You fans of the Fugitive are gonna miss Richard Kimball finally getting that one-armed man, whoever he is. And, uh, don't ask me. I'll never tell. Hey, you like me? Count the days till the USO gets here with those ever-loving bunny girls? Bring them on, Mama! Mama-san says some of you boys haven't been stopping by for your weekly checkups. Come on, guys. The honor of the U.S. fighting machine is at stake. Mmm, boy. Anyone seen Mama-san lately? I owe her a song dedication and a stack of chits. What happened to her? Well, any hoodle, we got a special buzz in the camp today, boys and girls. Uh, could be we're about to see that light at the end of the tunnel. Or is that vice versa? Rumor has it there's a little radio show about to hit the road. Just in case anyone's wondering, I do not travel well. And I don't know any Vietnamese hits at all. But how about this? Listen up, kids. Today we're offering a prize for anyone who can get us to General DM. First prize, a week in Baltimore. Second prize, two weeks. Did you hear about the grunt who got into a big fight during a stand-down? Fights, broken windows, a real mess, and his Sarge had to discipline the guy. So Sarge, who liked the guy, said, You pick your punishment, and you can have a week's restriction or five days' pay. Easy, said the grunt. I'll take the money. That new cartoon Jungle Book just opened in Saigon. Huh, just what we need to see, a jungle. Bad news coming in for you grunts from Texas about Hurricane Beulah. Tornadoes and flooding keep on coming, and the storm still isn't done with your state. You'll all be glad to know that President Johnson spoke about our little war here and said that the tide continues to run with us. So rest easy, guys, okay? We have new leaders here in South Vietnam. Nguyen Van Tu and Nguyen Cao Ki are the new president and VP of the country. Shouldn't we get a day off to celebrate? <laughs> 